intestinal infection or below the parasitology, an infection, especially we are going to talk about worms, the infection is called infestation. Okay? Can be kind of infection. Everyone. This local the Hustle parasitology will warm intestinal infestation. And we'll see that. So, starting with the objective to understand the infection or infestation caused by Nima. By the way, worms could be put into three categories, the three groups. Nematode, cystode, and the trematode. You have to know that from the beginning. I repeat it again. Worms can be categorized into the three groups. Nematode, cystode, and the trematode. With the trematode, there is another worm, but not intestinal which is schistosoma, also trematode, not intestinal, in the blood. Okay, so uh, we will talk about it, uh, inshallah, in the last lecture. So the nematodes, the nematodes are in probial example of the nematodes. The most important one, from a clinical point of view, from a human point of view, in probial, Tricorus, Ascaris, Turkusam, Angel Ascaris, Lurifid Ascaris, Ankylostoma, Nicator, uh, Citrum Goloides, and Toxophile. These are all nematodes. You have to know them. Mm. Also, infection caused by cystoid. And we are going to talk about tinea and Hymenolithosnana. And then we are going to talk about the trematode, and we are going to talk about fasciola. These are all intestinal worlds. So we are going to recognize what well, the life cycle of some of them, not all. Okay? Morphology, laboratory diagnosis, and how many laboratory? epidemiology, immunity, and to mention a few drugs that are useful, okay, uh, to deal with this worm, to treat the infestation. So starting by intestinal nematode, these are cylindrical. Swania, cylindrical. من راح نجي على السيستو تيب شريط التيدان الشريطية these are cylindrical tapered bodies يعني مدببة الرأس ومدببة التيب okay covered with cuticles حراب شيء okay in fact more than 25% of the human race ربع الكرة الأرضية مصابة بها Miliarad. Okay? What are these nematodes, as I said? Introbius vermicularis. We call them pinworm. Zayi rasid dabus. Pinworm. We had you, you have to know both names. Sometimes you are asked that the pinworm can say that, or you will say introbius vermicularis. A tricurus is tricura. Whip war, whip and saw. Okay? Whip war, and we will see how they are whip war. Ascaris lambricogis, large round worms, Nicator americana, and americanas, hook war, a hook. Okay? And Christoma judinelli, also hook war. So the hook war are of two types. Negator Americanus and Ankylostoma juvenile. Visual close of Ankylostoma 
the urinary is more common. And the last one is hepronchloritis stercularis. Very important thing, that is problem in asthma. They are very common. يعني من تروح أنت طبيب تشتغل في المستشفى يوميا راح تسمع بعض الأسماء والمختبر يعني المختبر تبع المستشفى كثير من الشغل يقص عليه فأجب أن تكون أورينتد and we are going to talk about them from microbiological point of view we are not going to talk in medicine or other things okay now, intestinal nematode, uh, these uh, can cause diseases. For example, introbial vermicularis, pinworm, they can cause introbiasis. So if you hear introbiasis, it means the disease which is caused by introbial vermicularis. The same thing for tricholus tricora, trichuriasis. Ascaris lembrigodis ascariasis. Nicator americana hookworm disease. Ankylostoma duodenale. Catanius larva migrant. Ankylostoma brandiliasis. And cetrongoloidis stercularis, cetrongoloidiasis. From the name, yeah, it's not that different. Now, I would like to leave this table to the end and probably you can revise it when you read the lecture and here will tell you the uh, way of infection these first three introbial tricholus ascaris are through uh, mouth negator and tricholus and migration, intestinal, intestinal. The last three, Ascaris, Nicator, Supremcologist, have pulmonary cycle. This is very important. These are pulmonary cycle. Yeah, and their larvae migrate to the lungs. So we will have respiratory manifestation. Uh, now, diagnostic form eggs, all of them. Except cetringoloides, rhabdotiform larvae. And we will say, we will see that during our discussion. In fact, of four, the first three eggs, Nicator americanus, filariform larvae. We have two types of larvae rhabdotiform and filariform. Filariform, they have an ishtiqafman in filaria, pizza made with filaria. With general microbiology. And uh, the strongoloides, filariform larvae. The free living cycle, the worm present in the surrounding, all of them know, except strongoloides, yes. So we will see that this table, you will be informed about it fully when we will complete our discussion. So when you read your lecture, read the text first and then come to this table, which is very important. Starting with introbius vermicularis. Show here introbius vermicularis. Hai di danis daifa, illi adatan yusabbiha al-abbal. Sometimes you can detect it on their clothes, underwear, or around the anus. هيك ديدان بيضاء لا مثل راس الدنبول او تشوفها مع الخروج اجلكم الله اكيد بس منكم شايف كثر بالعوائل كثير عند الاطفال سو اتس بين وور ريد وور زي الخير ديزيز اس اي سيد ان بروجيس لايف سايكل ادلت ميل اند فيميل انهابت Colon and sepal. You have to remember where they live. Probius vermicularis where? Colon and sepal. So the female a transit, and you go outside the anus. 
to the perineum around the perianal area and lay eggs around the area so that and these eggs are sticky stick to the area on the perineum and goes what itching did you own تحكي لك دكتور والله ابني شوف يعاني من حكة خاصة بالليل. أنت you have to examine the child. ممكن يصير بالأدلت أيضا. بس عادة بالشيلدرن. You examine the child for introbial vermicula. The eggs are very infectious. To the host itself, الطفل يحك في المنطقة. Either on his mouth, the eggs will enter again to the intestine and get reinfection. So it's a complete cycle, continuous cycle. The family has an family. The family has a family. We did a study. We saw the earth, the earth, the curtain. The kurdayat, the tables, everything in the earth. And we have tried to do everything to eradicate it from the earth, and it will reoccur again. Okay? Ma mushkila hatta law reoccur again. Fi baad al atibba, he gullak, atrukha. Ashan ta'mal stimulation the immune system. هيك يعني في رأي، أوكي لأنه الورم كار تريجر نيور ريسبونس، so the ingested egg will hatch hatch يعني تفقس البيض، and larvae will be liberated in the intestine and become adult worms in one month، and the adult worm usually lives for about Two months. This is the introvert vermicularis, adult worm. This is the egg. You can see it in the book. The egg has a characteristic flat from one side. When you see egg flat from one side, I introvert. Now the egg comes out. As we say, sometimes with the stool to the perianal area and mature very rapidly within four to six hours. Mature, what it means? So it contains larvae. And the eggs, when ingested, they go to the intestine, hatch, and the larvae become adult worm in about one month. And they go to the cecum and colon, and they live for about two months. This is the life cycle. Very simple. This is explanation of the life cycle as I described. So you can read it to consolidate your information. We that I'm happy. Manifestation, شو المانيفستيشن اللي يحس به المريض تبعنا الطفل خاصة؟ Nocturnal pruritis aim, itching at night around the anus. Now, the female sometimes can have infection, genital urinary infection, لأنه sometimes the eggs hatch. And become adult worm, and then go inside the the anus again. How much this is applicable? Unknown. What to do? How to diagnose it? We have what is called a cellophane tape, tape plaster. You put it around the anus. When the Worm come outside and lay the egg. The eggs will stick on the tape. Sometimes they put a slide. 
Okay? So then you can examine the tape for all. A treatment, just the name. Two names only. Pyrantil, Pamway, and Micronidazole. All family members should be treated. If not a cure, repeat in two weeks. Okay? Tricor is a tricor. We pour the shufa. Shufa salt, my little. Salt meal. Two thirds of the world, two thirds of the world is the whip or the bread. So the anterior two thirds, the thread like, whip like, whip shoe and that whip salt. Okay? Tail, the tail, the male is coiled, just for information, and the female is separate tail. Look to this here. Okay? The female is separate. The male is coiled. Life cycle, the worm attached by the anterior end to the colon, new body. Okay? Adult inhabits seca, release eggs, the eggs mature in the soil, the turba, rectification, and release, release eggs. The eggs become mature in the soil and become infected within 15 to 30 days. They have an incubus that lasts four to six hours. And it takes less than four to four to mature the egg. Then the egg will be taken from the soil by children, by farmers, and by hand. They enter to the intestine and hatch in the duodenum. Larvae will be released and become mature adult within one month in the intestine, then migrate to the cecum and ascend in form. The adult worm is about four centimeters in length. Well, this is like four centimeters, okay? Now, move four meters or two meters. The worm is small about four centimeters. Uh, this is the adult worm. Tafasil hamabit niyaha. This is a whip, which is constitute about two thirds of the worm. The egg is quite characteristic. It has what is called bipolar flux. Mr. No, the Chinese, the oval like that would be a nose from the two sides. So bipolar flux. You can see it quite uh, easy. If you see this egg, and we ask you what is the morphology of which war, you will say a tricor is a tricor. ترى الأطباء المقيمين يجب أن يعرفوا هذا الإشي يعني أنت مطلوب منك مرات تروح للمختبر وتشوف العين هسا اللايف سايكل the eggs will come outside and embryoted then it become mature in about two to four weeks it contain now larva and then ingested go to the intestine Ash in the duodenum, <coughs> become adult worm, and migrate to the cecum, and ascending forward. Okay? Yeah, it's a pretty much a very heavy problem. Very regular life. فيقدر الواحد يشوف يعني كمية الأكس اللي تطرحها الورد بالدي الواحد ثلاث آلاف إلى عشرين ألف بير دي أكس كمية مهولة 
Epidemiology associated with defecation in soil are going to be poor. I am in the every year. And it requires warm and humid climate. Most of the shelf of Worm may live usually for about one year, but may for four to eight years. Usually one year. Pathogenesis and immunity. True sure, immunity, I mean, she is real with uh, the immune system against the world. There will be local ulceration and hemorrhage. If you get hemorrhage, you will get oozing of the blood about five microliter per wall per day. And then the latter walls may add. So this can lead to anemia. The other several marat at home, Jeep Tokyo has been a coma. Yeah, for two years. Nasty Michel and بس أشوف وجهها أصلاً أنيمي أنت أميديت في خاصة في مناطقنا ومفكر بالإيه بالوار إنفكشن وار إنفكشن you have to check check stool for example and due to also secondary bacterial infection can occur which can lead to bacteremia the bacteria to a level of blood Cell-mediated immunity and IgE-mediated mucosal immunity are important. Why IgE? The IgE is in the The world infestation is in the The IgE is that matter. Shabbat. Intestinal world infestation where parasites come out, and in allergy. Quiet, Ali, or Alam, is that. You can see the triporous hajim now, Tabi'atna, mawjuda, this is in the terminal area. Now, sah akena the seeker, but sahasim minha amya or shwaya in the area. Okay? Manifestation anemia. And the ulcer, who bleeding, who pass, this matter, dysentery, it can cause dysentery syndrome. The tricor is a tricor, a statement, dysentery syndrome. It's used to colonic damage that can cause pain and diarrhea. Sometimes it may lead to colonic or rectal prolapse. True rectal prolapse. And it leads to the heavy infection. When the child is trained during defecation, part of the rectum will go outside the anus. And they bring the child and you are a doctor, you have to uh, reintroduce it again to accept This is called rectal prolapse. Doctor, we and rectal prolapse in healthy world low. Now, diagnosis a stool examination for eggs at no power then egg career. And eosinophilia. In eosinophilia, even this that is with parasitic infestation, who will allergy come Right then, parasitic infestation, uh, IgE will be increased and eosinophilia. Treatment Mibendazol, drug of choice. Albendazol. The cure rate 60 to 70 percent. Ah. Prevention, good sanitation, of course, good sanitation. Identification around uh, 
يعني كان سبريت ديزيز اسكاريس لامبريجويتس الكل تعرفوا انتم سامعين في جودة الاسكاريس جودة الاسكاريس تفرق عن البقية long between 15 and 40 centimeters very common among children ومرات الامهات بيجيب بيجيبوا معاهم دي وورم حاطينها في كونتينر بس تشوف انت تعرفها هذه اسكار شورت ليف 6 to 18 months شورت ليف قياسا على البقيه موست كومن اسكار از Common war, especially in the Middle East. The length is between 15 and 40 centimeters. Long. Moment is between 4 centimeters or a few millimeters. Life cycle, we will see. The important issue with scar is that we have to learn the life cycle. I have been to the conference. طالب ماجستير كان طالب دكتور وسئلت على اللايف سايكل تبع الاسكاريس ما كانت تعرفها كثير كويس فشي فيل ذا اكزام سو ذا لايف سايكل اوف اسكاريس از فيري امبورتنت فاتوجينيس از ان ايميتي بارشال بروتكشن اميونيتي ذي لارفي of scaris migrate to the lungs during the life cycle and we will see that in a moment. So this will can cause pulmonary immediate hypersensitivity to the larval migration and this can lead to pulmonary damage, tissue damage in the lungs. So remember the scaris have got what? المونري لايف سايكل وشفناها بالتيبل الاول ترجعون عليه راح تشوفها. This is the adult worm. Okay. This is the ovum. The ovum is characterized by a crenated surface. مقرنصة. Surface داير ما دايرها مقرنصة. Okay so The surface is crenated. Now the eggs will come in the from the patient with the feces, contaminate the surrounding. Some of the eggs are unfertilized, will not undergo biological development. They no Others fertilize and become mature gradually, two cells, eight cells, become larva. And these eggs will be ingested. Okay? They go to the intestine and hatch and liberate, release larva. هسه هون في خطوة إضافية، إذا سابقا نحكي اللارفي بيكم أدلت وتروح تلسيكا ونقول Now the larvae will penetrate the intestine, go by the portal system, and then they reach to the lungs. Larvae, that is why we have pulmonary immediate hypersensitivity. تمام؟ And then But through the alveoli, they migrate the bronchial tree up to the larynx and pharynx. Okay? They migrate up to the pharynx and then swallow. Okay? Now, the swallowed larvae will become mature worms. Okay, this is the 
also male and female. As a clinical manifestation, asymptomatic for this world, the small warm blood, is a added the dam area. Usually asymptomatic. Respiratory symptoms due to larval migration. Malabsorption. If you have heavy load of the wall and sometimes can lead to intestinal obstruction in case of heavy war load. You can see this number of worms of scarab from, from a patient recovered at autopsy. These cause intestinal obstruction. Okay? Okay? Diagnosis is stool detection of X, sputum, we can detect largely an eosinophil in the sputum. Why? During pulmonary phase. The treatment is the same as well. Albendazole, Lubendazole, Pyrantil, Pamoy. Community mass therapy at six months interval can be repeated. Sometimes if the community infected with the scarlet, you can treat all the community. Okay? And you can repeat the treatment in six months time in order to eradicate the, the war. Now we come to the who wars. And we said the who wars are of two types. And Christoma Judinelli and Nicator Americanus. These are pinkish white. One centimeter. That is to say, 10 millimeters, very small. The shoe, very small, uh, like a shadow. The head is scared, hooked. Hooked, yeah, hooked, shoe, man, as a hook. Yeah, in the arrow, okay? The species differ by the morphology of the oral cavity, and the shoal beard. Shoal is not a simple entomology. Shoal entomology is a element. And Christoma judinelli have four sharp tooth wires. That's four. Four asnan. Nicator americanus, dorsal and ventral cupping, the plates. And here, they are clear. And the legs are clear. Then we damage the intestine and cause the bleeding. What the bleeding she is away? Anemia. Anemia. Sa? And the wood. And the wood seven. The eggs. The eggs have four to eight cells. We're going to see this. If you have the cells inside the egg, it's a lot of seven or eight. Okay? So this egg is seven or eight. Seven or four. Who is the male? The cater and the juvenile. Okay? And this is the adult one. Now, the eggs will be released in the pieces. Then you get larva, rub that you form, larva hatch. Okay? Outside. In the soil. And then become filariform larva. 
Now, the filariform larvae penetrate the skin. حكينا بالبداية في مجموعة عن طريق المارض اللي حكينا عليها والهوبونت عن طريق penetration of the skin. They come migrate, okay, and then the adult world reach to the small intestine. So the eggs pass in the stool, and after five to ten days, they become filariform, okay, larvae, and these larvae can survive for three to four weeks and in contact with the skin they penetrate the skin and carry it by blood vessels to the heart then to the lung uh, they penetrate the pulmonary alveoli and ascend the bronchial tree similar to scarab and then swallowed and they reach to the small intestine. So the hoof form have what? Have pulmonary cycle. Sometimes they say there are differences between the Eugenian and the case of America uh, regarding the pulmonary. It's more common pulmonary uh, than the case of America. It doesn't matter. They have pulmonary cycle. Okay? Epidemiology worldwide, limited to tropical areas mainly. Larvae require hot, moist conditions available in Middle East and Africa. Pathogenesis and immunity. Blood loss. Significant. That is why it can lead to iron deficiency and anemia. Two, ankylostoma duodenale. Each word can lead to 0.2 mil per day of blood loss. Here, Nicator Americana, 0.03 mil per day. Adult can live for a long time, 2 to 14 years. So are worn to each the hell of our hala, but hardly you see and the gloss from the body of a blood behind the media. Magruba fi adad al worn, so it can lead to. Severe anemia. Eosinophilia in the gut and in the blood. And humoral immunity and immediate hypersensitivity. Immediate hypersensitivity due to what? They due to the pulmonary cycle. Manifestation, it may be asymptomatic if the load is minor. A pruritus rash at the skin at the site of penetration. Immune deficiency anemia, IDA work. Immune deficiency anemia is due to intestinal loss and complication. Diagnosis through examination of eggs. Four to eight cells inside the egg. The treatment, the same. Pyrantipam with mibindazole, albindazole and you have to correct the anemia. Sanitation and wearing shoes to prevent the antigen and war and to skin penetration. I have to stop here and inshallah tomorrow we will complete the